Hi, my name is Margaret and welcome to my artsy corner of the internet. We are back again today to do So You Think You Can Dance. Yay. Um, so <laughs> I think the season has already finished. Like there's already a winner. Um, I am still watching the auditions. Listen, the summer has been more chaotic than I expected it to be. But I have a friend who's like, I watched it this season. It was great. You need to watch it. And I was like, okay. So um, y'all probably already know who won, but I, I enjoy reacting to things. So, you know, we're gonna just continue on with the auditions. So this is Brianna Gray and she's doing a hip hop piece. And um, we're just gonna, watch it and then and then talk about it we can start off with i like her shoes okay <laughs> it's your turn what do you like i like the vibes i feel like i know this song oh wait i should probably turn it up for you guys I'm gonna need the camera to zoom out and you see the whole body here. Ooh. Okay, her knees are wild. Yes, we love. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I'm really qualified to talk about anything. I have been dancing for like a decade at this point. I'm in college, I'm a, like a couple months, couple, I'm like nine months away from graduating college. I should know things, right? I don't. This is one of those things that I watch and I'm like, yes, I'm a dancer, but I have no idea what is happening. If you told me to try to mimic Brianna's style, I'd be like, I have no idea. It is this, uh, I don't, okay, I want to say discombobulated. I don't know if that's the right word because it sounds negative in connotation, but it's like this wonderfully slinky, ooey gooey, but like disjointed groove or flow. It's like you're watching somebody make taffy or watching like a waterfall go into a stream but you're watching in like a picture slideshow that is like every other second does that make sense it's not like strobe lights are going on and off because it's it, it flows more than that you know those like little post-it note things that you used to like draw like a little person like a stick figure and then like you'd like flip through the post-it notes and like the little person would do something like it kind of feels like that like she's jumping um, like those little spiders that move so fast they look like they're just like teleporting um you know what it's like it's like um have you ever seen one of those posts on the internet where there's like a like a sentence or a paragraph or something and it's like the first and the last letter of the word are correct but everything in the middle is all scrambled up but yet somehow you can still read the whole like sentence I feel like that's what it feels like. Feel free, Brianna Gray, to use any of those analogies in your bio <laughs> to describe your style. Um, because, yeah. Oh, she's just so cool. Like, I can just tell. Like, she's just a cool person.
there's something I think also about everything that just there are so many little like I've actually danced to this song before uh nothing like this nothing like this I looked nothing like this I looked a little bit more probably lost in the sauce to be frank um because there, there's so many different noises I think oh what's his name boy Troy Troy boy boy Troy one of those so his music is so fun to dance to because there's so much going on that you can jump from going from the words that are being used to like the little snares or the big basses or the little doo -doo 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 that hops in and so you get to pick and choose what parts of the music you're kind of going along to and i love those kinds of dances when you like go to like a choreography class and they're like and you'll hear way in the back of this music there's like a little do 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 and like you're like i do not hear that then you go back and you're like listening to it and you're like oh i do hear it like way in the background of the music and that's always fun to find like little uh almost like secrets hidden in the music uh because you can like like a song and and listen to the whole song and be like yeah it's a good song but then if you like sit and like take the time to like intensely study the song you're like ooh, is that a chicken in the background that i hear i kind of feel like that's what we do on this channel with like dissecting dances and looking at it it's like finding those like little nuggets in the back that make you almost like appreciate it more because you found like the little secret hidden away in the back of the dance or in the back of the song but Without those little unnoticed secrets, it wouldn't be the same. But once you kind of pick them out, you're like, oh, that's why, that's why it was so fun to listen to the song. And it kind of gives you an appreciation more for the song. Anyway, all that being said, it's fun to dance to music like this with so many things inside of it. What Brianna does so well is she's hitting all of them with different parts in the body and different accents and maybe the, you know, the, the main beat is a pop, but she's still using her head or her feet and, you know, walking to keep the rhythm of the other things happening in the song. And it, it's really cool when you see a dancer fully embody the music, so it, it feels like you're watching the music. And of course, there's times to, like, sync up so intensely with the music, and, and then there's times to, like, ignore the music and purposely go against that. But to see somebody fully in body music is so cool. It's like the little dee -dee 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 when she's like turning around. It's just so satisfying because that is a uh, part of the song where it shifts from the rest of the music. And so to have the dance also shift and take on a different, a different feeling for that second. It's like, ooh, it, it's just, it's very uh, satisfying and pleasing. And um, I love this point where I pause the video because she looks like a little star because she is a star. Also, her knees, her knees, man. That is one thing. Hip hop dancers, that's a big thing where like you, you turn in, you turn out, twin, twin in, twin out. Um, you turn in, you turn out, and also like from your hips. This is turn out, if these are my heels, these are my toes, this is turn in. And then this is parallel. <laughs> in ballet, you're all, you're yelled at, not yelled at, but you're always told from like, as a child, you're like, your knees go over your second and third toe. Like that is where your knee goes over. Never do anything besides that or else your knees will pop out and you'll be in the hospital. Like uh, when I'm telling you ballet teachers love to traumatize you about like being sent to the hospital because of your knees, they do that a lot. But there is actually a healthy way to kind of do what she's doing where your knees come in together. And um, I'm not gonna explain that because to be completely honest, I don't really know the whole logistics of it all because I am just a... Um, never do that if you're landing from a jump. That's all I'm going to say about that. I don't want to lead you guys astray with like wrong anatomy lessons. <laughs> That's crazy. I also love how she, um, again, with the you, 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 comes in. When those come in, she all of a sudden starts doing like the more wave, get on the floor, leg up kinds of things. 
it's okay it's two things one it's fun to see her go into like a much more like snaky feel after being so like bah, 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 right um she went from the little jumping spider kind of to to more i'm a thunder i'm a thunder i'm a thunder thunder what is that video there's a contrast in there but yet there's still something and this is a something that i i cannot describe to you but there's still something that makes her very smooth slitheriness still kind of feel a little bit disjointed and I think that's just like her style, like her just like, that's her vibe or maybe just the vibe of this piece, but it's so cool. Like how are you being so snaky while still keeping like that personal style of kind of being like boop, 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 boop you know? Um, I also recently just watched uh, the Lily film Ori from Lisa, Blackpink. Very, not similar at all, to be honest. You should go watch that video. It's pretty cool. She does a lot of like the snaky, slithery, but it looks like somebody just like took a string and started like, you know, like shaking it and you can like follow like the curves of it all. And it's so smooth. It's like taffy or something else that's smooth. Here, she's kind of doing the same movements, but their personal styles are so drastically different that even when doing like the same kind of body roll or leg move it feels like a completely different step that's one of the things i love about dance is just how two people can do the exact same move the exact same step and have it be just so drastically different in appearance it's so cool to me how we all just move differently because we all have different bodies and like that is so cool but not only that we have like different bodies but we also have like different like styles and like different things that are our strengths and are not so strengths <laughs> and things that we like value more our, our values our personalities everything that like we are is kind of exposed by dance it, it manifests that way through looking different and different choreography looking different on different people and I love that and that's the end of my rant not trying to like compare two people I guess I am comparing them but not in the way of like better or worse but just look at how cool it is that two people can do something similar in like direction you know like do a body roll but how drastically different those can be interpreted and performed and That was fun. She just did like whole push up. I think what's also so cool is like if you um if you like counted the number of like movements she does in this piece, it would be so many. Again, kind of like contrasting like just how different dance can be. I've seen dances that are like a minute long where there's like three moves but it's really slow. Um, oh, what's the one from Alvin Ailey Revelations? Totally different vibe, totally different vibe. I think it's um, Fix Me Jesus. She's doing like these like long like legs and like promenading. So in like the whole piece, there's not that many moves, but the beauty is in the sustained line and like the fact that she's holding something and doing something for a, a prolonged period of time. This is like the complete opposite side of the spectrum where it's like there are so many moves um, happening so quickly in a minute. And again, I just think that's so cool how dance can be so vastly different in so many different ways. Anyway, I love that. Again, here she's doing like a very like groovy move, but she does it in her own style so it doesn't look like any groove you've ever done before that's so cool i love it when people have like a very like well-developed personal style or personal philosophy or personal whatever but it's, it's really fun to see people who are just like they know their thing and they know they've got a good thing okay well that was great love that um thank you guys so much for watching that with me and for just listening to all of 
the rambles it brought to my head. If you guys enjoy this video, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out me and the channel. And so, yeah. Bye. <laughs>